Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards, bringing you another fantastic rip. This is Topps Holiday 2022, and what you have in front of you is four Topps Holiday Mega Boxes. So these, once again, took forever to come from Topps, but again, as I say almost every time, what else is new? Uh, the only difference is, obviously, I didn't have to run out to my local Walmart and try to find them, because I still haven't found them. Uh, hopefully you guys have been a little bit luckier. If you weren't lucky enough to order them from uh, Target, uh, Top's website, or I believe Walmart even had them on their website for a really short time. Uh, I did not, I wasn't able to get any from that either. So I just went with Top's. Top's had them again for probably couple of hours tops, something like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite releases every single year. It's it's an incredible entry product. If it's uh, something, you know, that you are looking to experiment with or maybe buy for, you know, your kids for a present, it's, it's really a great idea because it's $25, obviously before tax and before shipping, if you're going to have it shipped. Um, but you guaranteed a an autograph or a relic. Um, obviously that says look for, but on the front here you can see one relic autograph or autograph relic in every single box. So hoping that by spending a hundred dollars here, maybe we can see some differences. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the videos and stuff that I've seen, there haven't been a ton of differences. It's been a lot of plain old non-numbered relics, which doesn't really bother me. Like I've said numerous times before, you know, what some people would consider kind of junk autos and stuff like that. I never would because I just, I love opening cards and I love getting, you know, quote unquote special things. It's just a lot of fun. The hobby is fun. It's, it, it helps with my obsessive compulsive disorder. And, you know, I just, I don't get upset over things like that. I just love, love, love opening packs and seeing what they can possibly contain. So I'll show you what comes in one box and then I'll tear the rest so they're kind of held down at the bottom. And you pull out this giant piece of cardboard and you get your first ornament. I got Lou Bob, who I may have gotten from last year's, although I do like that this year they're doing Christmas trees as opposed to I believe they were Christmas balls or whatever you call those kind of ornaments. So that's that. Should be should be nice 10 packs here, which again, it's a fun opening that's not going to, or you know, that is actually going to take a little bit of time. It's not going to be a super quick open, which is awesome. Let's see who our next ornament is. It's the AL MVP himself, Aaron Judge. All rise for Judge in a Santa hat. See if we can get a relic of his Santa hat. That's one of the one of the chases, you know, getting the Santa hat relic or whatever it happens to be. I think it's a Santa hat. I know sometimes they have like Christmas sweaters or something. I got Wilson Contreras. All right, so at least three different ones. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And one more. See who our final ornament will be. Will we get four different ones or our first duplicate? It is Mike Trout. All right, so four different ones. Who would have called that? That's pretty awesome. So there we go. I mean, the pack art's pretty sweet too. I mean, it's same as the box, but it's got you know the big rookies on there, and then adds in Mookie Betts, Mike Trout. So very nice. Just move these up a little bit. Maybe put our ornaments in the background. See if they can give us a little bit of luck. Definitely pretty sweet. Judge, Trout, Lubob. Not so sure about the Contreras, but that's all right. We're going to go relatively slow through some of the, maybe the first box or something like that. Then we'll maybe pick up our speed just so that we don't have you here for too long. Because this is going to be a decent number of packs. We have Wilson Contreras. Stephen Kwan falls already. All right. You can see the kind of background and 
just like update and stuff. It has holiday written on the number. So you, I mean, as if you couldn't tell by the garland that's around the picture, but just in case. And some of the pictures have been updated, which is pretty cool with new teams. So it's sort of an update on the update in some cases. <laughs> Mackenzie Gore in his Nationals uniform. And our first silver, uh, what do they call it? Or metallic, uh, metallic snowflake, something like that. The Ethan Roberts rookie. Okay, so pretty cool. Once again, super nice that they made him stand out this year. Last year, you had to look for a shiny little snowflake on a essentially a plain background, and my lord, was that a pain. Ronald Acuna Jr. Spencer Torkelson. All right, so nice first box. Or first pack, I guess I should say. Strasburg, Yuli Gurriel, and Nasty Nesta Cortez. Pack's still pretty easy to open. Nope, maybe spoke too soon on that one. Javi Baez, Willie Adamas. If I miss any short prints, certainly let me know. I'll go back and take another look when everything's all said and done and just make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, speaking of which, there's one right there. Byron Buxton. Would not have noticed if I didn't look further. You can see the candy cane arm he's got. Super nice. Put that with the inserts. Joe Ryan, nice rookie. CJ Cron, we have Josiah Gray. Dylan Cease, and Matt Manning rookie. So nice, nice stuff already. And we should be expecting four relics. <laughs> I don't want to predict the future, but I'm willing to bet we're expecting four relics. We're expecting four hits, I should say. Brandon Marsh in his Phillies uni. George Springer. We got Miggy. We have Diego Castillo rookie. Teoscar Hernandez is our next metallic snowflake. Jeff McNeil. Walker Bueller. Bueller. Haven't done that one in a while, so. <laughs> Renee Pinto. Jason Krizan. And Tony Santian. So didn't see any kind of short prints in that guy. Short prints are generally going to be the, the bigger name players, the bigger name rookies. Um, and the rarer the short print, it will be turned over. Whereas the standard short prints are just face up. That's what makes them a little bit harder to identify. There's a regular Byron Buxton to see no candy cane arm. We have Tommy Romero. And our hit is Anthony Rizzo. I think he might have been our hit in maybe Series 1 last year. So non-numbered, but gray jersey. So that's kind of cool. At least it's not... At least it's not the old white jersey. We'll just kind of put them in front as we get them. Andrew Benatendi. DJ LeMayhew. It's a Yankee pack. Johnny Cueto. O'Neill Cruz, baby. There we go. That's awesome. And Noah Syndergaard. Again, Phillies uniform. So, pretty cool. Nothing too special about his. I'm not sure if he has a short print, to be honest. Didn't study... The checklist, I don't, I don't normally. I, d I do like a certain amount of surprise. Ozzy Albies, Max Kepler, Carlos Correa, Dylan Carlson, and a metallic snowflake of Randy Rosarena. All right. There's the standard Rizzo. We have Joey Wentz, rookie. Whit Merrifield. Joe Donano. And you, Darvish. So I forget. I think a lot of uh, things I was reading were basically saying, you know, one or two short prints. Um, you get, you should get a metallic snowflake. I think in every other pack. I think that's the odds. And obviously, you get your relics. So that that's basically what you can expect from the boxes. We have Jake Berger. Okay, nice. Pete Alonzo, don't see anything different about him. Luis Arias, we have Josh Lowe's rookie. Adam Wainwright, Joey Votto, and Josh Winder. Let me know what you guys think of the 2022 design. Is it too busy? Is it, is it pretty cool? Is it something you normally pass on? I'd love to love to hear that because, again, as a, as a Topps release, I mean, I... 
I almost buy everything Tops does on the on the lower end, let's say. <laughs> Not a huge spender. George Kirby, nice rookie. Jordan Alvarez. Reed Detmers. Nice landscape rookie. Fernando Tatis. Metallic Snowflake of Christian Yelich. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jose Miranda. Another nice rookie. Juan Soto in his Padres uniform. Pretty awesome. Brian Lavastida and Josh Donaldson. I love that they updated the Soto. We have C.J. Abrams is updated. He's in his Nationals. Hopefully we can come across him. Rookie Betts. We have Palacios. We got Lou Bob. I know he has a short print. Nick Lodolo. Brian De La Cruz. Brendan Donovan. Albert Pujols. Chase Silseth. Max Scherzer. And Gary Sanchez. Two packs to go in the first blaster. And then we'll start ripping things a little bit quicker. Jack Sawinski. And I believe the set itself is only like 200 cards. So you, if you get more than one box, you're definitely going to get some, some duplicates. Matt Chapman. J.P. Sears. Rookie. Metallic Snowflake. Starling Marte. Ian Happ. T.J. Friedel. We have Josh Bell and Blake Snell. Once again, last pack of the first semester. See if there's any more short prints or anything like that. Vidal Bruhan, rookie. Tim Anderson, who's now on his way to is it Houston. Might have been. Perhaps I'm getting confused with a different White Sox player. Ernie Clement, rookie, Hunjun Ryu, Felix Batista. We have a Manny Machado. That's cool. That's the prime for some sort of short print. Kevin Smith, rookie. There's the Wander. And finishing on Kyle Bradish. All right. So I don't see anything different with the Wander either. So I don't think he is a short print. So it'd be awesome to get him in a short print. But... We'll see. Still plenty of packs to go. I'll probably open a bunch more in my in my private time. <laughs> private time. I don't, don't want you to think too much there, but <laughs> in just my, my time when I'm not filming. Gavin Sheets, Eric Hosmer, Matt Veerling. We've got Logan Webb and a metallic Seiya Suzuki. There we go. One of the better rookies. And again, I'd probably put him top 10 personally. I don't know that everyone else would, but I, I think he's... Got the ability to be a stud for sure. Brandon Crawford, Nick Allen, and there's Jeremy Pena, Houston Astros. So they are falling, man. I mean, we still need to see the top three, arguably the top three, you know, that are on the pack outside of Wander. We've gotten him. Justin Verlander, Alex Vado. We got Reese Hoskins. Ellie Hurst, Montero, MJ Melendez is a good one, Alex Bregman, Bryson Stott, rookie, Raphael Devers, another one that could probably be a pretty sweet short print, and we have CJ Abrams, there he is, see, Nationals uniform, pretty cool, and we have the judge himself, Aaron Judge, <laughs> suppose, could have went with the honorable, would have been a little better, but yeah. Not my team, anyways. Freddie Freeman. Jose Azucar. Corey Seager. Andre Palante. Paul Goldschmidt is our metallic. Cool. Shame we can't turn that guy in for 20 bucks uh, credit. Bryce Harper. Yoan Moncada. We have Nick Castellanos. And Garrett Cole. So, short prints and stuff are slow to come in the second box. If that means we're going to get a rarer one, that'd be pretty cool. They, they, all, uh, they all look pretty cool. Mitch Hanniger, Simon Muziati, rookie. And it's another Yankee, freaking Araldus Chapman. Come on, man. 
like you're taunting me as a Baltimore Orioles fan. No, no numbering or anything. And I'm not actually sure if they come numbered, to be honest. So two Yankees in two boxes. Cole Sands rookie. Shane Boz. All right. Francisco Morales. We have Austin Riley and Gio Urshela. So I'm definitely still looking for short print. Francisco Lindor, Gabriel Arias, Ryan Mountcastle, loving that. Helio Ramos, Wilson Contreras is our next metallic snowflake. Jonathan India, Rookie Cup, Dansby Swanson, Seth Beer, Taylor Ward, and Cal Rowley. Power hit and catcher from Seattle. Anthony Rendon. We have Rylan Bannon, now in his Atlanta uniform. Trey Turner. Matt Olson. Trevor Story. Tyler Anderson. We have Yachty. It would be cool to get a short print of him. Luke Williams. We have Bo Bichette. And William Woods. Big Willie Woods, rookie. Not actually his nickname, but <laughs> I find it kind of funny myself. Uh, we have Brandon Nimmo, Colton Welker, rookie, Christian Walker, and there we go. Look at that. Called it. Manny Machado, and he's followed by <laughs> Metallic Snowflake. So Manny Machado short print. And we have Yohan Duran, twins, Metallic Snowflake, Cedric Mullins, Cooper Hummel, Jose Ramirez, Bryce Elder, and Mike Trout, who definitely has a, a short print in the set. And I moved the base already because things going to fill up quick when you have a uh, hundred cards in the box. We got Louis Seal. We have Michael Lorenzen, Patrick Wisdom. Logan Gilbert, Cody Bellinger, there he is, Julio Rodriguez, shows up baby, that is awesome, Sean Murphy, we have Hunter Green showing up, fantastic, Shohei Otani, and Ron Marinaccio, so we got a couple of the big guys, we're down to Torque and Wit. We need torque and wit to show up at least once. I think practically everybody else has shown up. And there is something in here. Some kind of, maybe just an extra piece of something. Hopefully not a damaged card. We've already seen that. Connor Pilkington. Fernando Tatis Jr. That's a rookie. Stephen Kwan shows up. That's awesome. Metallic. Oh, man. Metallic Snowflake Stephen Kwan. And yeah, just a piece of, from the cutter, I guess. Shane Bieber. J.J. Mashevik. Clayton Kershaw. Who lives, When these guys are throwing snowballs, you can hardly ever make them out. So definitely it'd be smarter to look at the numbers on the bottom of the card head over to cardboardconnection.com they'll show you the numbers you need to look for for a short print versus the rarer short prints and the standard set itself gosuke catch chris bryant we have joe perez salvi perez mj melendez showing up again nasty nester joe ryan we have Kron, Gray, and Cease. All right, so that's the end of the second one. All right, so now we're going to do some mega ripping here. We're going to do at least three packs at a time. I want to get you out of here in less than a half hour or so. 
going to be a little bit longer, obviously, as this is just a ton of packs to open. So hopefully you're sticking with me if you are. I very much do appreciate that. Certainly let me know down in the comments down below. And definitely drop me a like and a subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'll be sure to bring it to you. I can even bring you another opening of this if uh, you definitely want to see it. Which, as like I said, I'm definitely going to be opening more. And we have Rivera, we have Manoa, we have Royce Lewis, who I don't think we've seen yet. We have Max Freed, a metallic Aloy Jimenez, Arnold Acuna, Spencer Torkelson, I think, for the second time, right? Strasburg, I don't know why I put him over there. I mean, he's, he, he does appear to be a special player, possibly, but not a short run or anything. Santian, Duran... Aaron Nola, Jared Walsh, Max Muncy, Mike Trout, Ethan Roberts, Randy Rosarena, JP Sears, there's regular Paul Goldschmidt, Joe and Duran, Alec Thomas, there's Bobby Witt Jr. No short print or anything on him. John Carlos Stanton, Jake Walsh, and we got Ronald Acuna Jr. Metallic. That's a nice one. So we are down to... I don't know. That might... Have we pulled all the good rookies now? I think we have. Jeff McNeil, Walker Bueller, Rene Pinto, and Xander Bogarts. I'm going to have to move the rookies out now because you're going to have a ton of them by the time it's all said and done too. But... Let's open a bunch more, see what we get. Finish this box, maybe. A little bit tough to find the theme sometimes, but overall, I think the packs are opening pretty cleanly, which is nice. Shouldn't have an issue with bent corners or anything like that. Open for no more Yankees when it comes to the patches, or by the off chance that I get an auto, I guess I'll, I'll take a Yankee, but I would certainly prefer something else. As I've said, I live in the New Jersey area, and the Yankees are just, uh, they're everywhere, so. and so are the fans, so <laughs> no, I don't have anything against the fans, I really don't. It's just, uh, I always have to hear it when I tell them I like the Yankee or the Orioles. Even though the Orioles are getting a bit better. At least uh, it sure seems like they are. Max Kepler, Carlos Correa, Dylan Carlson, Marcus Simeon, Hi France, Felix Bautista, we have Manny Machado, again regular. Evan Smith rookie. We have another Wander. Again, no short print to him or anything. Kyle Bradish. Diego Castillo. Byron Buxton. Once again, no short print there. Tommy Romero. Ozzy Albies. Steven Strasburg Metallic. Starling Marte. Ian Happ. TJ Friedel. Josh Bell. Blake Snell. Andrew McCutcheon. Joe Musgrove, Brandon Marsh, rookie, Springer, Miggy, Donovan. Not seeing anything too special here yet. No shorties. <laughs> shorties. No short prints or anything like that. Javi Baez, Adamus, Aloy, all right, Mackenzie Gore. All right, another rookie metallic snowflake. Jazz Tizzle Jr., we have Jose Miranda, Juan Soto, Brian Lavastida, Donaldson, Yelich, regular Seiya Suzuki, Contreras, another Quan, another Aloy, Arias, Josh Lowe, Adam Wainwright, Joey Votto. Man, I don't know where the short print or the relic is in this guy. 
Key Brian Hayes, Tay Oscar Hernandez, Spencer Torkelson, Metallic. There you go. That's awesome. Metallic Snowflake, Anthony Rizzo, Joey Wentz, Whoop. Whit Merrifield, Odenano, Hugh Darvish, Nolan Arenado, Bo Brisky, uh, please don't be a Yankee. It is Houston, uh, Jordi, Jordan Alvarez, all right, that's awesome. I'll take a Jordan Alvarez patch, that's super nice. Probably the best player out of the three. In fact, I would say he's definitely the best player out of the three. Johnny Cueto, we got O'Neill Cruz showing up again, and Noah Syndergaard. So I didn't see a short print in that one. Perhaps I missed it. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below. And as I said, I'll go through and, and double check because in most cases, I think just with the averages, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed one in a box. So one must have snuck through. Really hoping to get one that's turned over so I can show you one of the, the rarer ones. Which I think there's two classes of. I think there's like a rare and then like a, I don't know, super rare or something like that. If you want to take a turn from the TCG world. We're just going to open all of them. This again... Hoping to get you done by 30 minutes. I had about 26 and a half. So we'll move through these guys as quickly as we can. Probably hoping for another wit, hoping for another J Rod for sure. Gotten doubles of pretty much all the other good guys so far. Hey, maybe get a metallic snowflake like we had of the. The torque that's sitting there to the left now. So yeah, we have a Duke, we got two of O'Neill Cruz as well, so hopefully it won't be too hard to finish this set either. As I've said time and time again, love building sets. It helps so much with my obsessive compulsive disorder, so it's definitely definitely gonna look to put this set together. As I try to do with most of Tops, you know, kind of big releases. Severino, we have Key Brian Hayes, Hernandez, Yelich. Seen a lot of these at this point, maybe all of them. Just say maybe some of the larger names and stuff. There's another Wander, which is pretty cool. Again, nothing about it looks any different, so I'm going to say it's no short print. Max Freed. There's Vlad Jr. And our next metallic is Johnny Cueto. Darling Marte, Friedel, Bell, Snell, they put them together again just so they rhyme, I guess. Rivera, Royce Lewis again, Donovan again. Pujols would be cool if they put a you know string of lights around him, made him a short print. Sanchez, Walsh, Duran, there's Torque again. Followed by Brandon Marsh Metallic. Super nice. Getting some nice rookie Metallic uh, snowflakes for sure. I mean, obviously the top one would be J-Rod, but don't know that we're going to see that show up. There's Bobby Witt. Once again, no... Nothing on any of these guys that I can see, so no short prints. And last little stack. I do apologize. It looks like we're going to go over 30 by just a hair. But I will get you out of here in a timely fashion. Vado, we have Winder, Tatis. And who knows? Hopefully it'll be worth it. Maybe we'll get a we'll get a real nice relic or something to finish it off. DJ LeMayhew is our next metallic. Rizzo. Nano and Darvish, Altuve. To be fair, I'm not even sure if the inserts, like the relics, can be rookies. Randy Arozarena. So definitely going to take the U Darvish, or the U Darvish, the um, 
Jordan Alvarez and it's probably the best of the bunch there got O'Neill Cruz yet again so I think that's a third of him center guard Gilbert Ellinger getting towards the end of the metallics we got a Joe Musgrove Acuna have another torque Strasburg Rizan, Centian, Welker. Another Stephen Kwan. Rosarena. Sears. Huh. I must have skipped over the short print again, I'm guessing. Andrew Benatendi for our probably last metallic. We have Manning, McNeil, Bueller. Pinto and Bogart. So there we go. That's that's the end of that. So ended up getting a lot of the rookies. Awesome. Like I said, going to try to build the set now. That's going to be the next step. But stuff's really nice. Again, you know, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you're going to end up with a non-numbered patch, which, uh, again, is pretty cool to me. I mean, I wish it wasn't all Yankees, but the shorty kind of saves it. I think he's an absolute beast. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely a buy if you're on the fence about it. Definitely go out and try to find some, pick some up, see if you can get anything from eBay. If uh, I'm sure they won't be $25 on there. But, uh, yeah, drop me a like, you know, drop me a subscribe down below if you like what you've seen. I've certainly appreciated your time. I, I love making these videos and love hearing from you guys, so certainly drop me a comment down below as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.